Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Frankation palette by Desi and Katie and Dosa Colors. And I also have their Fuego highlighter from last year. So I will be showing you guys this because they are relaunching this. So if you guys want to see this video, I'm going to do a full eye look. Then just keep on watching. But first, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Go subscribe to my channel. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so I zoomed you guys in and I look bald because I have my hair up and a bun but this is what the Frankation palette looks like love the packaging this palette is a whole lot bigger than their last one their last one looks like this here and I absolutely still love this one this color is probably my favorite in the whole entire palette and also I really really like this one but the packaging is really nice and then they came out with the Fuego highlighter which looks like this and they're actually relaunching this with a new shade so you guys can still go pick this up but this is what the new one looks like it is a way bigger palette compared to this and it has a whole lot more shades the shade names are all on the back and i just love the packaging but this is what you get and i'm so excited to dive on into this palette it is so so stinking pretty and i really cannot wait so i'm gonna go ahead and just start blending away i'm gonna go in with my favorite blending brush the mac 286 right here just a really nice fluffy brush and i am actually gonna dig into this shade right here and just buff that all in my crease I need to move my mirror because i can't look at my viewfinder and do this so i am just gonna dip into this pan like this and start blending it in my crease Look how easy that's already blending out. Really pretty. The other palette that they had didn't actually have mattes in it. So this is the first time I'm using a Dose of Colors matte eyeshadow. And it's working really, really well. I'm just going to swatch a few of the shimmer shades because I'm not for sure which one I want to use. So here is the green. Look at that. The blue. Oh my gosh. This one down here is like a deeper blue. Oh Stunning, stunning. And we're just swatching those. Wow. That's nuts. Look at the foil in those and the shimmer in those. Really, really pretty. I kind of, like, I really want to use the blue, but then again, I really kind of want to use a green and, like, these two here. I don't know. And I also really like, like, with these four covered up this right here is really really pretty and more wearable so if you don't like these shades just cover them up and those are really really wearable I'm also gonna swatch the pink really quick too just to see yeah that that's my cup of tea right there all right I'm gonna go into this darker brown shade right here and put it in the outer corner and I'm just gonna work that And I kind of bring it out to a tip where it's just nice and blended. And then we're going to take the fluffy brush and go over all that. It just adds a little bit of definition in the outer corner. Also, look at this sweater I got. It is from TJ Maxx. And it's the brand Free People. It was originally like $128. And I found it at TJ Maxx for nowhere near that. Alright, I kind of just want to go in and like start packing on this shadow right here with my finger. And I just wanted to kind of see what happens. So I'm just going to take it on my finger. That is what it looks like. And I'm just going to, oh, that is beautiful. Pack that on. Look at that shine. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at my viewfinder right now and that is nuts. There's like little gold reflex in there. That is really pretty. I want to take this one now and dot it but like between those shades there. my gosh that's nuts so i'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other eye so it's looking a little crazy right now but i got those laid down and in person they're like way more sparkly than what they are even on camera but i kind of need to go in and clean it up so i'm gonna go into the first transition shade again and buff that in the crease so there's no hard lines and then i'm gonna go back into this brush that we used for the outer corner and get rid of this weirdness in here that is really pretty all right i'm gonna go in with a smaller brush if i can find it and i'm just going to go back into this transition shade and buff it in on the lower lash line 
the more metallic shades in this, not the matte, but like everything else basically, they are so pretty. I think on this palette, you really pay for the quality. I believe it was $55. I went to Ulta and used my points on it, so I didn't pay anything for it. Thank you, Ulta Reward System. And yeah, but I think you really are paying for quality with this eyeshadow palette. And I absolutely loved our first one, but it only did come with four shades. And it didn't have any mattes in it. It was still really pretty, but you didn't have like a full eye look. This here is really gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to take this and pop it into my inner corner and highlight the brow bone. And I'm actually going to use a brush with that. So I want to see how it works. And I'm just going to... Oh my gosh, that is stunning. Look at that. I don't know what it'll look like up here. It's a little shimmery for the brow bone, but we're making it work. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell because it's more shimmery for the brow bone, but the inner corner, it is popping. I'm going to go in with this little brush like that, and I'm going to go into this dark brown shade, and I'm going to line right here because I don't want to put on liner today. I'm just dotting a little bit right next to my lashes, and then right here on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend out the lower lash line one more time. Then I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Caution Mascara and apply this to my lashes. This mascara is pretty bomb diggity. Look at my lashes. Got lashes on. Love, love, love the eyes. Next, okay, I'm gonna dip into this Fuego highlighter after a little blush on, let me be right back. I'm just gonna dip into one of these Makeup Forever blushes, this one here. I put it in my favorites video a while ago, um, but I love the blush. All right, now I'm gonna dip into the Fuego highlighter again. Look at the packaging, it's just stunning. And they do have one more shade in this, but this is the old collection from a year ago. I'm just gonna dip like that into this. This is the Morphe R36 highlighting brush, just the best ever. And oh my gosh, look at Fuego. It's so blinding. Hello. So this highlighter is stunning and I need to bathe in it. Like, yes, yes, yes. Just like look at that roof. What? Shun. Well, I can say Dose Colors has amazing products. I'm really never disappointed by them. Love their lip products. Like, they're great. Love their eyeshadows. Love their highlighters so creamy and i think this turned out really good i'm gonna put on a lipstick i didn't get one of their lipsticks but i did swatch them i really like the gloss that was like gold and had like a little reflex so i'm gonna put on something kind of similar and i will be right so this is the final book i hope you guys like it look at the eyes they're freaking nuts the highlighter um hello 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 blinding <sighs> blinding um this is so nice so creamy i absolutely love this i absolutely love their old one they're just great i i don't i don't know i really don't know what else to say so this is the end of the video i hope you guys like it and i need to stop Addicted. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this collection. Oh, the packaging's a little bit different. But let me know what you think about this collection down in the description box below. And that is it for the video. Give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!